Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now today we have a really good video, the one that you guys have been wanting for a good amount of time. We're going to be covering the six easiest brawlers to push in Brawl Stars. Now, there's always meta changes and some brawlers are always buffed and nerfed, but this is just going to be a general list of brawlers that are going to be really easy to push. They're good in a lot of different modes. We're going to cover that today. So with that being said, let's start our list and let's hop into it. So coming in at number one and definitely the easiest brawler to push in the game to high trophies is going to be Nita. Now, I'm keeping this list pretty relative. So for brawlers, that are rare such as legendaries i kept them off the list because not everyone has that i just want to cover things that a lot of you guys have now nita is really easy to push as it doesn't really get countered by that much it fits basically with every single comp in every single mode now i would avoid playing siege or heist unless you have hyper bear 100 percent uh but you can play brawl ball pretty easily with just about any comp you can play gem on just about any map it's pretty easy and pretty simple now the star powers and gadgets that you guys want to be running is stun and hyper bear if you guys are going to be playing siege or heist now again i wouldn't 100 recommend playing those maps if you guys want an easy push with nita but it's definitely doable 100 if you're going to be playing gem or bounty which i would definitely not recommend playing bounty or brawl ball i would be using the healing bear one with the non-stun gadget but the shield gadget and if you're going to be playing gem grab or brawl ball or basically any mode that's not going to be heist or siege you just want to try and hold control for the entirety of the game it's pretty simple just try not to make any mistakes if you're low in health move but move back your bear is going to help you a ton even if your bear gets off zero shots it's going to take all of their ammo basically from any brawler to get rid of it so you're at least going to have an ammo advantage and they're going to move back and you're going to get positioned by moving forward as you guys see i'm using the shield and i'm just walking up to them because they're wasting all of their ammo trying to take out the bear it's especially easy to do this when they have the shield and that is why Nita is definitely going to be the easiest brawler to push. But let's move on to the next brawler and let's keep going. So the next brawler we're going to be talking about is going to be Jackie. Now Jackie is going to be really high up on this list because Jackie, just like Nita, basically everyone has her. And she is very good and very easy to use. Now, especially in this meta, I know we said we weren't going to cover the meta too much. But even in this meta, Jackie's pretty strong. Probably a borderline top 10 brawler. So there's a lot that you're working with. It's really good in gem. It's really good in brawl ball. It's really good in siege. I would stay away from heist and bounty, although it's technically usable there. I would definitely stay away. You have three modes to pick from that. Two of them that are out 24-7. So I would definitely just go with one of those two modes, gem and brawl ball. But Jackie is really strong and a lot of people don't know how to keep their distance. Now the gameplay I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be at 1000 plus trophies. So it's basically people who are really good at the game who play the game 24 seven. But until you're at about 800 trophies, they're not going to be that good. They're not going to be able to keep their distance with the ranged brawlers, which is what you guys are going to be facing a lot. And it's going to be really easy wins for you guys. Additionally, you don't necessarily need to aim. You can just kind of walk around and auto aim. If you have gadget, it's a big plus because the gadget just gives you that additional speed. And if you have star powers, the second star power, I forgot what it's called. I think it's counter crush. Last time I guessed, I was very off. So I hope I got it right this time. Um, that one is really strong right now. You do a lot of additional damage. You three shot brawlers that you used to not be able to three shot and rip mortis. Um, but yeah, that's going to be Jackie. Really easy brawler to play. Also pretty fun to play. So that's going to be it for number two. Let's hop into the next brawler and let's keep going. So coming in at number three, we're going to have Rosa. Now, Rosa, kind of like Jackie, is a pretty simple brawler to play. Doesn't have too many counters outside of like the typical tank counters. It can kind of just walk up to people's faces and destroy them. And again, at low trophies, people are not good at keeping their distance. So a brawler like this is really good. Now, the super is basically broken. You're essentially invincible when you're in the super, unless you're facing a stun brawler. So like a Shelly, a Tara, something that can just knock you off a ball or essentially stun you. Rosa is really good, again, in Brawl Ball and in Gem. So both the 24-7 modes, very, very good brawler. I would highly suggest just running it in those two modes. Technically, you can run it in Siege or in other modes, but none of the modes are nearly as good with this brawler as Gem or Brawl Ball. Now, with this brawler, very simple. All you want to do is just hide in the bushes, pop your super, go for brawlers that you counter, don't go for brawlers that counter you, and it's pretty easy wins. If you guys have star power, I would recommend running the star power that does that gives you heals instead of additional damage. You don't need that additional damage at all. It's basically useless right now. And I would highly recommend running that star power. But 
that's going to be it for Rosa. Really easy brawler. Now we're going to go into some brawlers that are still easy to push, but are a little bit more advanced than the three we went over. So let's hop into it. And let's show you guys what it is. So coming in at number four, we have Colt. And now there's no order to this. I'm just naming six brawlers that are really easy. Now, the reason I'm doing Colt after the first three brawlers we named is because Colt, you actually have to aim a little bit. Um, it's a little bit more of a difficult brawler than the other ones. And I wanted to get the three really easy brawlers out of the way. Um, just because a lot of you guys don't have too much time to push brawlers. So if you guys want to get a quick, easy three, those first three are definitely the ones you should be going for. Now with Colt, Colt is a very strong brawler. Does a lot of damage, obviously. Doesn't have too many counters. And in this current meta, it is extremely strong. It is probably, in my opinion, the second best brawler in the meta. Definitely has an argument for being the best. But since Byron counters it, we're just going to leave it at number two. But very strong in Brawl Ball. Pretty strong in gem, very strong in siege, very strong in heist. I heard it's pretty good in duos and solos now if you have the new gadget. So if you do, I would recommend that, although I prefer sticking to 3v3s. Um, but yeah, really good brawler. You can use both star powers are really good. Both gadgets are pretty good, although speed is definitely one of the strongest star powers in the game. And the new gadget, the 3k shot, is definitely one of the strongest gadgets in the game. Um, very strong brawler, again very easy to push this instant if they weren't going to make any balance changes and things were going to stay the same forever i would probably put this brawler at number one now the only reason it's a little bit low right now is because it's just a little bit difficult to play but in general it's a really easy push because of how versatile it is you can play it literally everywhere very easily doesn't have many counters and that is why colt is going to be on this list now coming in with the next brawler we're going to have barley now barley Again, is a pretty simple brawler to use, a little bit more advanced than the first three, but it's definitely going to be easier than Colt and the next brawler we're going to be talking about. Pretty simple. You lob your bottles on people. That's basically it. You just do damage from the other side of a wall, and you try and avoid taking damage by hiding behind those walls. Now, what counters Barley? Mortis counters Barley pretty well. Range without walls counters Barley pretty well. Barley is basically map dependent. If you played on a map where Barley is good, you're essentially going to have no counters outside of Mortis and throwers that just counter it, such as like Sprout or Tick. But if you're playing it on the right map, you're basically perfectly fine. Just try and again, stay on that right map. Brawlers that counter, or not brawlers that counter it, sorry, modes that the brawler is good in is Siege and Heist. So unlike the few brawlers or the uh, that we named before that are really good in Gem and in Brawl Ball, this one is good at Siege and Heist. The reason being because it has really good damage per second. Once you lob those bottles on a stationary object, it does a good amount of damage. So when you're lobbing it on an Ike or a bot or a safe, it does a really good amount of damage and is really strong. Now again, play this brawler on the right map, please, because that is basically the only thing that matters. Basically, every siege map is fine. Basically, every heist map is fine. Please don't run it in like an open bounty map where you're just going to get sniped by Pipers. Star power, pretty simple. The healing star power is very strong. This, the, the damage one is also really good, but I would definitely prefer the heals. And the healing star power, or healing gadget, sorry, is also very strong. The other one that kind of slows them down is really good, and it counters tanks a little bit but you're never really in a situation where you need to counter tanks with barley so i would definitely go with the healing gadget as well as the healing star power so coming in at our final spot for the easiest brawlers to push is going to be brock now you guys might be thinking why is brock an easy brawler to push doesn't it take some skill you have to hit shots yes you have to hit shots and you have to have somewhat skill you can't just walk up to opponents and auto aim but Brock is really strong without gadget and without star power at low trophies. And by low trophies, I mean anything below basically 800. It's pretty simple. Brock is extremely versatile. So it's really good in bounty. It's really good in gem. It's really good in brawl ball on some open maps. I definitely wouldn't recommend running it on all maps. And it's really good in heist and siege due to the DPS. Now, if you're playing heist in siege or something you're shooting at a stationary object, you're definitely going to be running the flame or fire star power i don't know the names to star powers i'm sorry i don't read the names and memorize them um and if you're going to be running playing bounty or brawl ball i would definitely go with rocket number four or four rocket whatever it's called just so you can get that additional shot now the reason you want to use the fire one for modes like siege and in heist is pretty simple it's just because you're shooting at a stationary object and the fire is going to do an additional i think 800 damage or 1.800 damage almost 1800 I don't know exactly what the number is, but it's a lot extra damage if you're running that star power versus the other one. But yeah, Brock is really simple. It works in basically every single mode. And if you can kind of play Brawl Stars correctly and know your ranges and just hit your shots, it's a very, very easy brawler to push. 
But that is going to wrap up our list. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like these useful tips that aren't really meant for very high trophy pushes, but instead kind of middle ground trophies for you guys to push. If you guys do enjoy, let me know in the comment section be uh, below. Like the video, subscribe. You guys already know. Sorry uh, for that broken English at the end, but that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.